How to use ClickUp for task management. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with task management using ClickUp. ClickUp is one of the best solutions for teams and individuals to manage their work. Whether you are working on projects, IT, HR, or any other field, you can easily manage your tasks on ClickUp as an individual or a team, and you can create multiple different workspaces for different aspects of your routine. So let's jump right in. Now I have created my account on ClickUp. This is an empty dashboard, and this is your default workspace. If you click on the top left, you will see your name and then workspace. By default, ClickUp creates an individual workspace. Usually for personal task management, I like to use this workspace. However, if you want to create a completely new space, that is up to you. You can click on new workspace on the bottom left, and then you can choose the purpose of it. But let's say this is personal, it's just going to be you, and then you can choose any of the tools you want to integrate, and then you can rename it. So let's say this is going to be my routine or this is just going to be my task manager. And just like that, you can create a simple segregated space for task management. Now, I'm going to be using this task management section. If I'm, you know, creating it in my personal workspace, I can do that as well. One really important thing to note is that when you're using ClickUp, tasks or any of the information within a workspace is interchangeable within its boards and spaces. However, if I have something in my task manager workspace and I want to convert that into a task on the Jane Doe workspace, I am not able to do that. So data between workspaces is not interchangeable. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your task manager so you can include all the necessary bits and pieces together. Now, once we've done that, we can click on the top left. We will have a home section. And then we have an inbox, a docs section, a dashboard, whiteboard, goals, and then you have a more section. You can pin clips and timesheets. When you're using a personal workspace, usually clips and timesheets are not going to be relevant. So you can skip those. Then you have an everything section, which is going to display all the tasks and the lists that are present. Then you have a space section. Then by default, you will have an empty list within that, and then you can click on view all spaces to see all spaces created. I'm going to delete this space, and once I've deleted that, we're going to start creating our own individualized lists. Now, for task management, there are different ways to go on about task management. You can build task managers based upon the fields of work. So maybe you want a task manager for your personal life, for your work life, and for your student life. You can build three distinctive spaces for that. Or you might want a task manager that is based upon time frame. So you want a task manager for one month, the next month, and the next month, or even weekly managers. So you can click on create space and you can name and distinct, you know, make distinctions based upon your categorization that you're doing. You can even click on use templates and from the left, you will have different templates available. You can even search for a task manager. And you will see different types of task management templates in different fields. You have simple sprints, you have people operations, you know, production plans, personal use, quick start, and other types of, you know, other types of spaces. But I want to categorize or create everything in the form of a monthly space because I want to be able to click on one space and know everything I have to do without having to interchange spaces and I want my months to be divided by spaces. So let's say this is going to be for December and then I would just add a description. So tasks and views and I will click on continue. After that, you're going to define your workflow. So this is going to be a starter workflow and you're going to customize the default settings for your views. I like the list view and the board view. These are my personal favorites. The board view is usually what I use as a default. You can click on these three dots and click on make default to make it as your default view. After that, you even have a calendar view you can enable, map, activity, team, Gantt charts, timetables, timelines, mind map, and workflows. I like Gantt charts because they are going to show you what task needs to be done when. And then I also like timeline because they're very similar to Gantt charts, but they give you a more visual element of a Gantt chart. I'm going to click on done over here. Then I have my statuses. So by default, three statuses are added. You have to do, 
in progress and then complete. I want to add a couple of different, you know, a couple of different types of statuses because my division is going to be based upon statuses. I want to be to do, then I have in progress or instead of to do, I want three lists. This is going to be personal. Then I want the next status to be again in a gray color to be work, personal work, or let's say this is going to be miscellaneous. I have no idea if I spelled that right, but we're just going to go with it. So now that we have our three different categorizations for our tasks that need to be done, after that, you can label them in progress. Now, even this, you can create three different segmentations. So let's say this is going to be ongoing, okay, ongoing personal, OG, ongoing work. And instead of writing ongoing, I'll use a simple acronym. And then we're going to be ongoing miscellaneous. And then I'm just going to save all of these statuses. Once I have done that, I can proceed with my done statuses. So your done statuses and your closed statuses are different. Done tasks are still displayed within the space, whereas completed or closed tasks are not displayed within the space. Now, this really just depends on how you want to structure everything. I personally don't like to add too many done statuses because once work is done, it is done for me. But I like to just keep this and I am just going to click on apply changes. After that, you have your click apps. So I do want priority. I do not need email functionality, but if you do, you can enable that. You can send and receive emails directly from ClickUp. You also have custom fields, multiple assignees. That is not something required for me. Then we have remap, subtask, due dates, time tracking. I don't need time tracking, uh, but I do want to use time estimates. Now, what's the difference? Uh, time estimates allow you to estimate how long it's going to take you to accomplish something. Versus the time tracking is more so used for worksheets when you're trying to log on time, when you're trying to make billable or workable hours. After that, you have more options. So you can add dependency warnings, rescheduling dependencies, status progresses, and incomplete warnings. All of these are pretty standard applications. Click on done over here and then click on create space. Now that we have our space for our month ready, we can move towards the views. You will see on the top you will have a bar which shows you a list and then a board view. The board view is easier to work with so I just like to work in this over here and I can start adding my tasks. You also have a calendar view, Gantt views and timeline views. If you later on choose to include any type of view, you can click on view over here and add that from the tab. Now we're going to go into list over here and we're going to go into our board view. And then I can start adding my tasks. So let's say that I have to give my driver's license or give my driver's test. And then after that, I can click on the task and I can set a particular date for this. I can choose a particular time if there is going to be any. I can add a tag. I can add descriptions, add any custom field, add any subtasks, checklists, or any other relevant bits of information. Now, as the due date arrives, I can make it, I can, you know, drop it in the ongoing personal. And then once it has been completed, I can move it towards the completed tab. And just like that, you can get started with task management on ClickUp. It's really simple and easy and can be a great way for you to manage your tasks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.